Welcome to CSE Guru. Now we will discuss the topic Find the Minimum Spanning Tree Using Krushkal's Algorithm. So this is the given graph. For this given graph, we need to find the minimum spanning tree using Krushkal's Algorithm. So before entering into the problem, we should know two concepts. One is what do you mean by spanning tree and what is minimum spanning tree? So spanning tree is nothing but it is a connected acyclic subgraph that is it should include all the vertices of the given graph all the vertices are connected but it should not form a circle that is nothing but the spanning tree. So minimum spanning tree is nothing but if you find the spanning tree and add its cost we will get the total cost. This total cost is nothing but the minimum spanning tree cost. So now we are going to find the spanning tree and minimum spanning tree using Krushkal's algorithm. So here the procedure to implement the minimum spanning tree using Krushkal's algorithm is first we need to consider an empty subgraph with only the vertices without any edges. That is the first step. And the next step onwards in each step we need to consider the edge with the minimum cost and that edge we will include in our subgraph if it does not form a cycle. Suppose if the inclusion of any edge forms a cycle means we need to skip that edge. So this procedure continues until we need to consider all the edges. And finally we will get a connected acyclic subgraph that is nothing but the spanning tree. And if you add the cost of the edges in the spanning tree means we will get the minimum spanning tree. So this is the procedure to implement Krushkal's algorithm. So now we will implement the algorithm. Step 1. Initially consider only the vertices without the edges of the given graph. So first we will consider a subgraph with only the vertices without the edges. So this is the first step. Second step is. In this given graph, find the minimum cost edge and that edge we are going to include with this subgraph. So if you are considering here, the minimum cost edge is nothing but edge 7, 6 with the cost 2. So now we are going to include this edge into our subgraph. So 7, 6 with the cost is 2. Next step 3. Find the next minimum cost edge in this graph and include to this subgraph. So if you are considering next minimum cost edge is 2 comma 8 with cost 4 and 6 comma 5 with cost 4. Among these two edges in order if you are considering vertices 2 comes first. So we will include 2 comma 8 with cost 4 and step 4 if you are considering the next minimum cost edge. So that is nothing but 5 comma 6 with 4. So now we will include the next minimum cost edge that is 5 comma 6 with 4 we will include in our subgraph. Similarly step 5 if you are considering find the next minimum cost edge. The next minimum cost edge is edge 0 comma 1 with 8 as well as 2 comma 5 with 8. So in order if you are considering and also in every step when you are including this edge, whether it forms a cycle or not, that we need to consider. So we have included three edges here. It is not forming any cycle. So we can include it. Suppose if the inclusion of any edge forms a cycle means we have to skip that edge. That we need to keep in mind. The next minimum cost edge is edge 0, 1 with 8 and 2, 5 with 8. So in order if you are considering that is age 0, 1 with cost 8. So that we will include here. And its inclusion does not form any cycle so we will include it. Next is step 6. The next minimum cost age we need to find that is nothing but 2, 5 with weight 8. So age 2, 5 with cost 8 we are going to include it. Next step 7 find the next minimum cost edge. So the next minimum cost edge is nothing but that is edge 6, 8 with 12. So that edge we are going to include it. So if you are including this edge it will form a cycle so we should not include this edge. 
so we have to skip this age so next step step 8 we are considering the next minimum cost age is nothing but 14 that is 7 comma 8 with 14 also 2 comma 3 with 14 two edges are available so among this in order if you are considering the age is nothing but 2 comma 3 with 14 we will include so next step if you are considering the next minimum cost edge is nothing but age 7 comma 8 with 14 so 7 comma 8 if you are including it will form a cycle so we should not include this age so next step if you are considering the next minimum cost edge is nothing but 16 that is age 1 comma 2 with 16 as well as 0 comma 7 with 16. So in order if you are considering we will include age 0 comma 7 with 16. So if you are including this age it will not form a cycle. So we will include it. And next step the next minimum cost age. So that is nothing but age 1 comma 2 with 16. So, if you are including this age 1 comma 2 with the 16, it will form a cycle. So, we will exclude this. We should skip this age since it forms a cycle. Next step if you are considering, the next minimum cost edge is nothing but age 3 comma 4 with 18. So, next we will try to include the age 3 comma 4 with 18. And if you are including this age, it will not form a cycle. So, we will include it. The next minimum cost edge is 20, 4 comma 5 with 20. So if you are including this age, it will form a cycle. So we will skip this age also. And the next minimum cost edge is 1 comma 7 with cost 22. And if you are including this age also, it will form a cycle. So we will exclude this also. And the next minimum cost edge if you are considering, that is age 3 comma 5 with 28. And if you are including this age 3 comma 5 with 28, it will also form a cycle. So we will exclude this. So now we have considered all the ages and we have included those ages that does not form any cycle. And we have excluded and skipped the ages that forms a cycle. So now the algorithm completes. So this is nothing but the minimum spanning tree. And if you are considering this spanning tree, it is a connected that is all the vertices are connected and it is not forming any cycle. So this is nothing but the spanning tree. And if you find the total cost of this spanning tree, that is nothing but the minimum spanning tree. So here the cost of minimum spanning tree is nothing but 8 plus 16 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 plus 14 plus 18. So if you are adding the cost of this spanning tree you will get the minimum spanning tree cost so that is equal to 74 so the total cost of this minimum spanning tree is 74 so now we have implemented Krushka's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree thank you for watching this video